Okay, let's take a deep dive into John Bolton's Mr. Mustache's Karma. Okay, so currently, uh, currently what's going on, currently the forces in motion in his life, ooh, the Emperor reversed, okay. His greatest challenge is the Ten of Wands, okay. Um, the past life karma that he brought in to heal this lifetime. Judgment? Yeah, he has a hard time making good judgment calls. And it's hanging over, yes, the Knight of Swords reversed. Okay. I think I know well, at least one thing that that's about. Uh, let's see, how about... What he's done in the past that we really need to know about. Maybe something that's been hidden that we that you know hasn't been disclosed. That's interesting. So the Queen of Wands reversed, hanging over the sun. Okay. And let's look at the karma that's hanging down over him currently, right now. In early May of 2021. So we have the Fool and the Hermit. Wow. Okay. And then, actually, let me move these over. I keep having trouble with the edges, I notice, after uploading. So I apologize for cards that have been cut off in the past over here. Or here. <laughs> okay, so four cards for his. Um, I, you know what? I'm actually more con. Uh, I don't know. If I, well, yeah, I don't know if I call it concerned, but curious about is a better word. As to what are his political aspirations? So I'm. So I don't. I don't care so much about his personal life unless a health issue shows up. But I would really like to know more about his um, political future professional future. Knight of Wands, Six of Cups, Knight of Cups reversed, and Queen of Swords reversed. Okay. Okay, so actually I need a chopstick under here because there's a little bit of a, I think it's a little bit of a glare. I don't just don't know if that really helps. Uh, let me turn off this lamp over here. It's a it's a cloudy, rainy day in Oregon. I love it. I actually love the rain, but I don't have as much light coming through the window here. A little bit of a glare there too. There, that fixed it. Okay. So turn your devices the light all, up all the way, and that'll help. <laughs> okay. So anyway, the. Emperor reversed as as to you know what's going on. So the, these two cards here show his um, how he has exercised his free will and how that's going for him in his life. Well, with the emperor reversed, I think he's trying to um, extricate as best he can uh, himself from Trump. This to me is Trump. Uh, he's trying to find his own authority. I honestly can't say he's doing that well with it because, um, I mean, a thing that sticks out in my mind about this guy from the past is that he refused to testify in, in the, you know, impeachment inquiry into Trump. But instead, he just, you know, put it all in his book. Well, you know what I think the American people would have preferred would be for would have been for him to get in front of it and tell the truth. Because he certainly had a lot to say. You know. It's it's like he he waited for the book and waited for it to get to, you know, the bestseller list and then and then he said later he'd testify in the impeachment trial if subpoenaed by the Senate. But the Senate, of course, 
Oh. Ah. The Senate, of course, you know, refused to even allow witnesses. Yeah, because of course they were Republican controlled. So, but then you know, he turned around and and I think he like tried to make it sound like his book was better than any of the lawmakers uh, in the in Congress, you know. But anyhow, currently he's been talking a lot of trash about Trump, and he's got his own little super PAC, and he's just out of integrity. Because with this emperor reversed, of course it's Trump, but also because, you know, we can always read the different, um, the cards in different ways. That's why they're multi-dimensional, holographic, you know, because we're in the realm of spiritual law when we're dealing with tarot. At least that's the way I look at it, and that's the way I read it. So, but with the emperor reversed, this is his big, fat, overblown ego that's just like Trump's, you know, it's un the unhealthy aspect of his ego. Uh, this is this place where he doesn't care, and he's just made a big old power play. And he's pretty rigid, and I'm, you know, I, I would just have to say he, he's, he's pretty, just, there's no flexibility here. And his challenge is, is that he's burdened. He's got a big, he's got a lot of overwhelm and stress in his life. And that I, I don't, I don't know why. I'm not really sure that I care. But he's, if it's not, if it's, it, it might not be real. The stresses might not be real. It could just be this place where he's um, worries. You know, he might have an addiction to worry. Um, because, you know, I mean, the dude hasn't been clean. And, and then here we are, because, I mean, he was a national security advisor for crime and his sake, you know? Um, and, and what did he do? I mean, I didn't feel safe with him in that position. Not even with him and his mustache. And he needs somebody to help him with his hair, too. But anyway, that's just my opinion, talking trash. Um, but as far as safety goes, I don't think any of us felt safe with him. Um, now, with judgment card hanging over here for his... Um, you know the the issues he bought it brought in to um, heal from from past lives. He brought in to heal for this lifetime. It has to do with like freeing himself from the past. It has to do with creating a rebirth and like honoring his call. But you know, I mean, he's it, there. There's definitely within this card there there is transformation. There, there are opportunities to make a brand new, fresh start. But I don't think he did well with it because with the Knight of Swords reversed, that has, that has a, a soul in that place of being a little directionless and it could even be violent. Like deep down inside, he could even be violent. And, um, but at the very least, is you know, unpredictable. So it could be that he's not made good judgment calls and he's been very unpredictable and yeah of course you know that's why he wouldn't testify at at at, at Trump's um well you know i mean i suppose i suppose he c couldn't testify because senate wasn't going to let him but he could have he could have released his book sooner you know, he because there was so much time in between, I think. I think there was plenty of time in between um, him leaving. And But, I mean, at least, I mean, I, I wouldn't buy his book, but it, at least um, at, at least he did get out information as to maybe violence. I mean, he did, <laughs> he did say something about... Um, uh, I remember it coming out in the news, like Trump thought Venezuela was part of the U.S. And he did talk about um, Trump was trying to help um, 
help himself win the 2020 election by asking China for support. Like, that's pretty dark. So he, he did kind of turn around and, you know, turn around on Trump and did the best he could. Maybe he was a little afraid for his life. There's that possibility. Like, we don't really know all the darkness that that was there in the Trump administration. But anyway, um, so yeah, I just feel like it has to do with not going in the right direction, making bad judgments. Now, what we need to know about what he's done in the past that we might not have known about, well, with this Queen of Wands, I don't know if this is, let me think if it's, a, I feel into like, is it actually a person? No, I feel like it's an aspect of himself uh, who decided to be unfaithful. And 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 he did, did decide with his book to reveal as much as he could. But then again, it's an aspect too of um, being jealous about not being seen. You know, completely for who he is. But then again, you know, he. That's what gets when you know, that's what a person gets when they sign up for uh, working under Donald Trump, and then. I mean, man, can you imagine the hard lessons he had to learn? Le or lessons he had to learn the hard way. He just, it, this, this is very mixed up, you know? I mean, we have two, like, major arcanas here. This major arcana here. The fool up top and with the hermit. These are a lot of major, like, gateways of evolution for a soul to go through in one reading. So I think bad judgment calls about violence and about direction, which way to go. It's kind of like, you know, live by the sword, die by the sword kind of mentality. And he could have made a fresh start, but he didn't. He made a bad decision here, or he's made many bad decisions in his lifetime. And I think he's I think he's pushing 80, so I don't know if he's going to get his lesson. Sometimes people do when they have their Uranus return at 84. Sometimes they just wake up and go, whoa, what was I thinking? And they can make a lot of big change, you know, a lot of deep change within their souls to help heal. Uh, you know, that would certainly help the next lifetime and the lifetime we're in. And anyway, I feel like he's still got some jealousy going on, but it's hidden. And and he wishes to be more successful than he is, but he doesn't really have the self-confidence either. This is all mixed up. This is like inverted life force. It's not working well. And what's hanging over him currently is, well, he might, might think he's on a new adventure, but actually what he really needs to do is to go inside with the hermit. He needs to go on an inner quest. He needs to find some type of enlightenment, and he needs to search his soul. I don't know if he's going to do that, because, well, maybe. We, we have the future here with um, the Knight of Wands, so that brings in change, and it could bring in change that's really quick. It does go with like the adventure of the fool. Like these two go together well. Um, but as far as this being his professional future, I don't see it going well. And because, I mean, we have the change, we have the adventure, we have the, um, it, you know, his, his new like journey to try and... Um, do something, because, I mean, why else has he started a super PAC? Why is he trying to get people to donate to him? Or where's that money coming from, you know? Like, will Sheldon Whitehouse someday uh, discover, or maybe already has, but maybe he'll reveal that he was, he's been 
part of these people who get money from the Heritage Foundation and Citizens United and uh, the Federalist Society. Because that's where all this, this hidden money comes from. And, and we don't know yet because we need new laws. You know, we haven't, there hasn't been disclosure yet. We need new laws that that disclose who these people are, hid, you know, hiding underneath these super PACs. Anyway, there's some, you know, past, there's something from the past that he's trying to heal, which could bring this life force out and could start this new adventure. But none of this is good down here. And these two cards are so important, you know. And I, I really feel like, even though I don't have any, um, we don't have any pentacles in this reading, so this shows his lack of ground, groundedness. Um, and, you know, and, and he brought in this karma to transform his soul. And I don't think he's done well at it at all. I, but... There's a lack of groundedness. There's just there's this lack of groundedness, and that's probably why he's stressed out and worried because he's not really operating in present time because he's deluded. He doesn't believe in the abundance of the universe. He doesn't he doesn't believe in um, you know the love in the universe. It, it's like he's just yeah. But he's got his mustache. <laughs> Sorry. I don't. Can you guys tell I have pet peeves around big old, you know, mustaches that hide people's faces? I don't. I just don't. I don't. I don't personally trust people that have all that on their face. Uh, you know, it's like, what are you hiding under there? But that's just me. That's my pet peeve. I'll get. I'll let go of that bias. And just try and read his future here. Um, the change is just going to bring him, the adventure that he's on is just going to bring him back in touch with the past. And it's not going to go well. Because with his Knight of Cups reversed, people are going to remember everything that he did in the past and how he didn't come out sooner and say something. And i um, and it's not, I, you know, I don't think he'll be received well. These are cards for the future. He won't be received well um, because of his manipulation with this Knight of Cups. And um, he's this card also, when it's reversed, can bring in some really bad news. And uh, at the very least, he'll be disappointed. At the most, he could be heartbroken. And with this Queen of Swords reversed, that has me kind of wondering, um, well, no, actually, it's just more clues as to why the disappointment. He's going to receive a lot of criticism, and uh, people aren't going to care about him because they see him as being dishonest, you know, cold-hearted. So, so, so there's that. So... <sighs> I honestly don't see any reason to use um, Kipper or, or any other uh, system to layer on top of it because I don't see him going anywhere. There's I don't there's nothing I don't think there's anything to worry about here. Like you know he's just gonna take his mustache and stay home. I think, and but hopefully what we can do, as as you know as human beings who care for everyone we can uh, send him love and light to go back inside and work on his soul issues so that at least in this life, later on in this lifetime or in his next lifetimes, he can be a much better person for society. Uh, you know, if he chooses to work for the government and receive large, you know, salaries. <sighs> Because, I don't know, I mean, this is, this, is, this is me making my judgment call. I think it was wasted. All the money that was spent on him was wasted. But, um, 
I just, you know, I'm going to try and set my bias aside and just uh, send him, send him lots of uh, love and light to go inside and start a new uh, life journey to find out who he really is and tap into that, that, that love and get rid of all this overblown ego stuff and um, have a whole new uh, emanation of light that could come through uh, in the future. But I'm not seeing it yet. Um, we can we can hold out for it though, of course, with as we can with anyone. So okay, <laughs> I'm gonna stop babbling and uh, and get this uploaded. Okay, thanks you guys. Hope you're doing well. Take good care.